Okay. The classic patterns of disharmony according to traditional Chinese medicine and my name is James O'Sullivan. The first pattern that we're going to look at uh, would be palpitations with shortness of breath on exertion. There's sweating, pallor, tiredness and listlessness. And the tongue is pale or it may also be normal. In severe cases there's a midline crack to the tip with swelling on either side and the pulse is empty and again in severe cases it may be slightly overflowing and empty. Our diagnosis in this instance or with this pattern is a heart chi deficiency and our principle of treatment would be to tonify or invigorate heart chi. So how are we going to do that? Well the next step is from our principle of treatment is we choose a selection of points. The first point we choose is heart 5. Heart 5 tonifies heart chi and it also calms the mind. The next point we're going to choose is urinary bladder 15 and urinary bladder 15 calms the mind, it invigorates blood and it also nourishes heart. Our next point is REN 17. REN 17 located in the center of the chest or the middle of the chest which is the name of this point, Shanzong, in uh, Chinese. And Ren 17 invigorates qi. It also regulates qi and dispels fullness in the chest, which is another symptom that's associated with a heart qi deficiency. Our next point would be per pericardium 6. Pericardium 6, again, regulates heart qi and blood and calms the mind. And as we've seen earlier on, the pericardium and the heart are intimately connected. Our next point is REN6. REN6 is a sea of qi. It invigorates qi and also yang and it regulates qi as well. And the next point that I've chosen would be stomach 36. Stomach 36 greatly invigorates qi and blood and strengthens the body. Bearing in mind that this is just one prescription of points, there are many other points in our full list of points that we can use in order to tonify heart chi. Let's move on to